Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and today I have another quickie video for you which I've been trying to do more of these so that I can get you recommendations quicker um, and today this is a great topic for this one if you can't tell you're probably here I'm gonna do some taboo rom romance recommendations and the topic for this one is going to be stalker romances so I recently put up a um, post on my YouTube community tab which if you're not following me make sure you do I post a lot in my community page asking for questions or video ideas or book recommendations so that's a great place to be following me so make sure you do that um, but this one someone asked for stalker romances and I don't have a ton of these I only have six to share so I thought this was perfect for a quickie video as well as to do some taboo wrecks because I generally don't like label my videos taboo anymore but I realized that people like that I mean I like that I just usually don't label them that way so here we go we're gonna go through a few and we'll go I mean the plots mostly the same for most of them so that's another reason why it could be a, a quickie so the first one up I want to talk about this is one of the first really dark romances I ever read um, and I don't even know how I stumbled across it, but that is the Twist Me Trilogy by Anna Zares. And this is about a girl who, um, on her, she runs into this guy at a club when she's under 18. She goes with a friend, she's not supposed to be there, and she runs into this like really hot guy. And she's a little weirded out by him, but thinks he's really hot, and then whatever moves along. And then, a little later on she's now 18 and she's graduating from high school and she's out on a date with a guy and they get attacked and he gets knocked unconscious and she wakes up on a private island of this crazy man and she's his captive so this one quickly goes from a stalker romance to a captor captive um, as well as uh, some other ones in here but specifically this one because Julian just does not give two fucks about what this girl wants or any of that and he takes her and he's like you're mine now and it's a deserted island it's just him his housekeeper and her the only way to offer on is a plane and he's the only one who can fly it and she's stuck there with him now they don't stay there forever for all three books but I will tell you I don't know how I stumbled across this book and I can't say that it's still like a favorite, but it was one of the books that like led me down a journey. So I definitely had a lot of passionate feelings about this the first time that I read it. I haven't been able to go back and read it though because I'm afraid of losing that like love that I had for it because Julian, he's even a bit much for me. I like my boys dark and twisty, but he's on another level, another level. Then there is Raw by Bella Aurora. This one is mixed kind of sort of with mafia slash crime and all that jazz. And there's this girl who's um, being stalked, with it, stalked by this guy and he slips into her room and they have sex sometimes. And that happens. And this book has a cliffhanger, by the way. Um, so I'm warning you about that. But there is a second one. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, she ends up then, when he finally introduced himself, he kind of sucks her into his world, and we go from there. Then there is Monster in His Eyes by J.M. Darhauer. This is the first in a trilogy, which I actually really loved. But this all starts off with this girl who is, I think she's 18 or 19, and she gets drugged at a club, and she gets taken home by this guy. Um, I think it's Ignazio, right? Is this Nazi? I, I think Ignazio is his name. And she wakes up and she's like, oh my God, you kidnapped me. And he's like, no, you had a fake ID in your purse. You were drunk. There was someone who was coming after you. So I literally had nothing else to do with you except bring you to my home. So he brings her home. And when he brings her home, he asks her on a date. He's probably mid thirties, late thirties. She thinks he's really hot. She starts dating him. He was like, I didn't want to ask you on a date when you were stuck with me in an area. Well, it turns out his good deed maybe wasn't so good. And there's a reason why he's the one who was there to rescue her. And it's because he's been watching her for an undisclosed amount of time, waiting for an opportunity to introduce himself. 
I really love this trilogy though, just saying. Um, then The Player by Presley Cole. I really don't want to tell you how this one is a stalker book. Like I know that by putting it on this list, like I'm saying that it is, but this book's just a ride. I love Presley Cole. Um, when I was like almost done uh, binging her Immortals After Dark, I decided to stop and read the books in the series because I um, didn't want to finish IED too quickly. But this is about a girl who her and her family scam men for money. Someone's getting out of their car, don't mind them. There we go. And it's her turn to get a mark. Well, this mark isn't what he seems and he may be too good to be true or he may have something else planned for her. And again, I don't know how else to tippy toe around this one because I don't want to spoil it for you, but I love this. It's kinky. It's delightful. It's crassly cool. I don't know what else to say. Then there is Accidental Witness by Sam Mariano. This is the first book in the Morelli crime family series, which is a lot. But the first book in the series, Accidental Witness, is about Mia and Vince. And Mia is standing on the stoop of her home when she sees something go down, something criminal go down. And she ends up dropping her cell phone and running away. But one of the men who happens to be doing this crime is someone from her school. He is also 17 and he knows who she is. And so now he is stalking her to make sure that she doesn't tell anyone what she saw. And he comes in and out of her house whenever he wants to. And, uh, does what he wants with her because if she doesn't convince him that she won't tell anyone he might have to kill her and then we're gonna meet his uncle Mateo who's the head of the Morali crime Morelli crime family and he's gonna have something to say about what's going down so and then the last one that I want to mention is literally called stalker of mine by Jagger Jagger Cole this was a quickie I think this is novella length and it's literally about a guy who's been stalking a girl, but then he saves her from a crime. But it's because he's been stalking her. So I remember that I liked this a lot, but it was also a really quick read. So I don't have too much to share about it. So there you go. I said this would be a quick video. I did a good job this time. But something I want to open up to you guys, I want to get some interaction. Number one, if you like these recommendations, give me a thumbs up really helps me out. But I would love to hear what your stalker recommendations are. Um, I, it was more difficult than I thought to find books for this list. Um, a lot of them, you know, a lot of mine that I've read, they are like captor captive books, but they don't have an extended period of stalking going on. Um, so I didn't have a ton of recommendations for this. I hope I was able to offer some to you that you hadn't read before, but definitely let me know what your recommendations are and we'll, uh, we'll add it for everybody down below. So thank you so much for watching this video. I try to put new videos three to four times a week. Um, I have playlists upon playlists upon playlists of recommendations. So definitely check out my page for that and check me out on some of the other social medias. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to watch some more videos, you can do that right now. Bye.